Yo, what is up guys, Tom here, and we are back. I've been grinding a little bit. I uh, got Bruxish up to level 65 at least. It's honestly so fucking hard. This Pokemon is garbage. And we we have not done anything with the natures. We've not done anything with the uh, the EVs. Um, this guy luckily has, I guess, a good nature. I think, if that's a good nature for a... For a... Bruxish? <laughs> I really don't know. Um, we got, I guess, lucky with Kingdra as well. Uh, we got lucky with a few of these. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I don't think there's any that really are hindering. The only one, obviously, that we have EV trained is Lapras. That's the one that we're going to be using in our team afterwards. Uh, because if you weren't aware, in the previous episode, I mentioned that we are uh, basically hunting a team down that we, we can use against uh, Drayton. And that's who we're going to be fighting today. Uh, we... That's a really shit... That's a really shit nature for Rotom. God damn it. Um... But yeah, yeah. Uh, that's... So that's what we're going to be doing. Um... He does... I think I mentioned this in the previous one. Uh, he, he basically wants us to use... A team of... God, this is really loud. I hope this isn't, like, too loud in the video. Um, I'm hoping it's fine. But he, essentially, he wants us to take him on using only Pokemon caught in this area. Um, I can't remember if he means the entire Terrarium or if he means... The frozen area, so I'm hoping he doesn't mean the frozen area. Because then we'll be really limited on what we can use. Um, no, he, he means a, he means a terrarium. Because I, I, I remember on stream we used a Flygon against him. Um, so no, we should be fine. Um, okay, where is it we've got to go? I think it's like all the way over there. I really should have checked the map before jumping off here. But yeah, too late for that now. Too late for that now. Whoa, what the fuck? I don't know what happened there. That's crazy. Now we'll just keep hopping along. Looking for the Polar Plaza. Yes, we are, dude. But I'm not going to talk to you because that's going to that's a trap. You know, try and get us to battle you. Just like you are. Ready for a challenge? No. No, I don't want to battle you. I want to battle the Elite Four. That's what I'm here for. Oh. Welcome to the Polar Plaza. We're a team that supports Drayton of the Elite Four. Okay, sick. And you're Oceano, right? One of the BB League challenges? Hell yeah. You'll need to hand over 50 battle points. Uh, oh wait, no. Blueberry points if you want to take on the elite trial here. Are you ready and willing to pay? Yes. Yes, I am. I am indeed. Whoa, hold up. My friend gets in here for free. Uh, are you sure, Drayster? The rules say just charge it to my account. That ought to take care of it, yeah? That's not... Okay. Understood. I'll make an exception. Many thanks, my man. There's my champ in the making. Thanks for coming. Let's hit the battle court real quick. Oh, he's getting right into it. He is getting right into it. Beast your eyes on the majesty of the Polar Plaza battle court. Nah, it's basically the exact same court as the other plazas, just colder. I'm a cold weather kind of guy. Not what you expect from a dragon type user, right? It's interesting, right? Because... His grandfather. Uh, which I think has actually been confirmed when you invite 
uh, the Steel Dude from the Elite, from the Powder Your Elite Four over. They, like, have a chat. Um, his grandfather is, uh, Dre... Okay, wait, hold... Okay, no, it's literally on screen. I'm, I'm an idiot. So he's Drayton. The grandfather is Drayden. Uh, the eighth gym leader from Pokemon Black. Um, I believe it... Yeah, he's he's the gym leader on Pokemon Black. And then Iris is the gym leader on Pokemon White. Um, it's interesting because Opelucid City, where that gym is, does get frozen over. Probably around about the time where he's still a kid living there. I'm a cold weather kind of guy. Not what you expect from a dragon type. You just, maybe, maybe you just like how Curum is. Bro, dude, imagine a Curum on this guy's team. That would be insane. Like, Curum's in the game, too. Uh, anyhow, buddy, he came to my, do my elite trial. Not listen to me ramble. So let's hop to it. I call my elite trial Terrarium Only Battles. Your goal is to clobber three or four of your fellow... Uh, wait, pff, not three or four. Three of your fellow league clubbers in battle. Simple enough, right? But it's called Terrarium only for a reason. You can only use Pokemon that meet two conditions. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. And you gotta be the one who caught them. Nice. Dipped into your vault of beefy Pokemon and cheesed your way through. Exactly. What do you say, bud? I'm ready. Let's do this. That's your cue, underlings. Come out. Excuse me, just opening a drink there. <laughs> Hello. I'm ready. Let's go. My trial's about skill. But it's chill. Take it at whatever pace you... Imagine he just straight up launches into a triple battle. Just to, like, you know, confirm you know even more. Like, each trainer has, like, three Pokemon. So we have to take a total of nine out. With... Like... Hour six. Alright, six. So we don't even have to, like... We could have started this and then gone out and done that previous episode, but that would have just meant that all of this is in one giant episode, or I would have to edit it, and I want to do neither of those things. So, uh, what I'm thinking is, we save Bruxish. We might need it. And we lead with Lapras Kingdra. Kingdra is kind of broken. I, I think I showed you guys this last time. We've got uh, the scope lens on it. We've got sniper as an ability. Special attack is the uh, the plus stat, which is great. We've got focus energy and surf. Surf should be critting like ninety percent of the time. Should be. I'm making that number up. I die, uh, just in case someone tries to like fact check it. But it should crit a lot. Rampardos and Bastion. Uh, Bastion? Bastiodon. Nice. Um. Oh, we got rid of... Okay. That's fine. Alright, just for the fun. Let's just do this. I don't want to attack with, uh... Without launching at least one surf off with this thing. Okay, scary face on the Kingdra. Okay. Dude, Kingdra might be kind of goaded. I could even be tempted to use that thing on the team instead of Lapras. Um, 
All right, I'm going to go with an Ice Beam on the Bastiodon. Because I really want to use this. And Bastiodon has Sturdy anyway, so, like, we kind of need to hit it for something. Um, all right, let's go for the Surf. Can we get the Double Crit? Scary face from him, too. Okay. Uh, sorry, on Lapras, too. Sorry. Surf. Heals the Lapras. Do we get the double crit? Crit on Rampardos. Crit on Bastiodon. Dude, this thing is insane. This thing is absolutely bonkers. I might keep Kingdra on the team. But I want to keep it alongside. Toxapex might be getting dropped, you know. It might just be getting dropped. Uh, let's just get this guy out of here. Every now and then I'll catch like another Pokemon that can help fill the deck so that when we eventually need to do that, um, we don't have to stress about it. I do like that Drayton actually watches on as well. It's like he doesn't do much studying at school. But hell, he'll study his opponent. When he needs to. Right, we'll go for the focus energy. go for the Perish Song. So here's the thing, right? Perish Song, we've already won. Like, that kind of just secures the dub against these guys. Um, and Kingdra only has one weakness, right? Uh, no, Kingdra has two weaknesses. It's uh, weak to Dragon and Fairy. That's interesting. That is a That's an interesting matchup right there. Um, okay, we're gonna go for the surf. Let's see how much do how much we can do with a crit on uh, Dugong. Not very effective, but we did get the crit on Dugong, and we did get the crit on Sandslap. Dude, that's four at four out of four hits have been crits. And then we go for the Thunderbolt, and we take out the Dugong. Nice. And we get a we get a crit on that. That's insane. That's not boosted at all. That's just a, that was a natural crit right there. Oh my god. I can see why Drayton likes you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. You know Iono, the streamer? I use the same type as her. So, like, ready for a shock? Hell yeah. That's actually a good test because here we go. Zap, pew, 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 pew. Calm down, dude. Calm down. But yeah, that's actually uh, not a bad test because um, it's like our biggest weakness, electric types. All right, we'll go for the Perish Song and the Focus Energy. The only worry is, okay, we don't have to stress too much about it. But if they doubled up on Kingdra here, Kingdra would be gone. 100%. I'm still kind of worried that Magnazone might take us out. Wait. Is he just using Magnazone as, like, a way to buff his Deb Striker? That's... that's a... I kind of rate that. Um, Alright, we're going to go for the Hydro Pump on Magnezone, because I feel like that's going to be able to survive a little bit better. Uh, but hopefully we get the Double Crit. God damn. 
Why is he not using... Honestly, okay, that's kind of stupid. Actually, I, I... It's stupid because he's running a physical set on Zep Striker and using... Yeah. I take it back. He's he's a he's a big dum dum doo doo head. <laughs> I didn't even see if we got the crits there, but we hit the we hit the hydro pump, so that's all that matters. That makes sense. Let's see. One, two, three. Nice. You went and beat all three of them. Which means this elite trial is elite complete. Hell yeah. All right, my elite club assistants retreat on the double. Good battle. Goodbye. See ya. I'm the great, no grumbling on nothing, bunch of sweethearts. Uh, I don't want to battle you straight away though, dude, chill. Guess you're still using the party you put out. Huh, go ahead. Take a sec to change it up. Unless you want to dive straight. No, no shot, my dude. Uh, okay, so we did not need, like, half the other dudes that we went ahead and caught. Um, but that's fine. That is a-okay. The only thing now... Is is Kingdra gonna be able to like handle itself? Against the Elite Four member. I think it might be able to. Alongside Lapras there for support, I think the pair of them might make a pretty good team. I don't think there's anything I want to teach anyone. I guess only thing to do is hop right into it. And he terrors Dur his Duraludon into pure dragon, so honestly he kind of will make it a little bit easier for us as well. I think they should have terrored their Pokemon to like types that you know, aren't what they specialize in. Would have definitely made it a bit harder. Someone was in the comments the other day. Um, we dropped the two videos taking on... Uh, taking on... Um, Lacey. Someone was in the comments just like, Yo, I don't know how you managed to lose. She's like the easiest out of all of them. And I'm there like, Bro, we got fucking wiped. And we steamrolled the one that was the hardest one for me last time. The steel type gym leader was in insanely tough for me on my on stream. Honestly, all of them, except for the like on when we did it on stream, the steel one was the only challenge. But this time, Lacey was the only challenge. So yeah, I don't know. Um, alright, I'm gonna go straight for the Ice Beam on Flygon. And we're gonna go Focus Energy. I think they want to take out... Oh my god, they might actually kill Kingdra before it gets a chance to do anything. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Hopefully... Hopefully we can just 
take out Flygon here. Yep, cool. I thought you liked the cold, man. Okay, Sceptile comes out next. Um, I am panicking a little bit here. Um, okay, I'm going to go for a Max Potion on Kingdra. And then I'm going to go for a Surf. Fizz. Surf is not very effective against either of them. Um... Let's get rid of the multi-scale for now. Oh, he got the crit. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, he might be tougher than I honestly anticipated. Was that a crit? It was a crit, okay. That was a crit, but with multi-scale, okay. We'll send in Iron Bundle. If we can get rid of Sceptile here, Which we should be able to. Special attack got boosted. Shit. I should have known that was going to happen. I was hoping it wouldn't go for the extreme speed, honestly. This is Quaquavel's time to shine. You go for the freeze dry on Kingdra. And we're gonna go for just to take out one of the Pokemon. And then we're gonna go for the Sword Stance and hope that Dragonite targets. Thunder, uh, Thunder Punch on Iron Bundle. It does. Okay. This is good. This is where we want to be right now. Haxorus is Mold Breaker. Haxorus is tiny, I'm not going to lie. Let's go for the Aqua Step on Haxorus here. I'm gonna go Terra Water. The Ice Beam on the Dragonite. But it doesn't have multi scale anymore, which is perfect. The fact that we've separated the two of those. Now what can Haxorus actually do against us here? Go for the Aqua Step. We're plus two in attack. Ooh. And we boosted our speed. There we go. It goes for the Dragon Dance. So his speed has rose. Now he sends in... Arkaludon comes out, but 
Arkaludon can't use its special move because we killed Kingdra before it set up a rain dance. Okay, that's actually kind of insane. Uh, Alright, we'll Ice Beam the Arkaludon. And we will Aquasta the Haxorus. Because it's going to be a pure... It's going to be a pure Dragon type. The thing is, we outsped Haxorus. And we both boosted our speed. So we should outspeed Haxorus again here. There we go. We outspeed everyone now. That's insane. We get rid of Haxorus. And we boost our speed. And we boost our attack as well because of Moxie. That's the best part. Our attack now goes up. Ice Beam hits our Kaludon, and we don't even get to make use of those stat boosts. Oh my god. Oh, we we kind of we kind of choked it there. We won. We won. We didn't choke anything. But oh my god. Oh my god. Aurora Veil. Sorry, Aurora Veil. Um, no. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Man, that was ridiculous. So much fun. I knew inviting you to join the League Club was the right move. And I guess you can beat me. We better make you a full member, finally. What do you say? Ready to be the real deal? Hell yeah, brother. Ha. <laughs> Bless you and your generous art. Go on, let's get a photo of you for the club. Lacey probably would have wanted more serious photos. She might not be thrilled, but oh well. But there's one more thing I'm supposed to do. Oh yeah, we've got to give TMs to whoever can beat the Elite Four members. Gotta go grab that. Wait here a sec. Oh yeah, so this is the TM that uh, Diplin uses to evolve. Sorry, hold up. I'm back. That's the Brewery League Elite Four all beaten. You schooled every one of us. Every elite one of us, sorry. Here's your reward, like I said. Dragon Cheer. Hell yeah. Guess should have cleaned it, but what's a little dust between friends? Man, it's like I blinked and you plowed through the whole BB League. You know what's next for you, right, bud? You're good enough to beat all... <laughs> all Elite Four of us. So you and only you have the right to challenge the sitting BB League champion, Hiran. And here he is. You really kept me waiting. Took you a while to beat the Elite Four. Kind of slow for you, isn't it? Nice, Kieran. You've really got Oceano on the brain, huh? <laughs> he, dude, he can't stop thinking about him. He can't, sorry, he can't stop thinking about us, even. I could say the same thing about you, Drayton. You sure are putting a lot of effort into helping Oceano out. Who wouldn't want to help out a new student? Gotta be good to our fellow humans. That's rich, coming from you. Whatever you're planning, it's about to come to an end. Oceano. Let's settle who's the strongest between us two, once and for all. It's finally time. I'm pumped for you. We'll have to go sign you up at the front desk. Get your championship ma championship match going. No sense waiting around. Let's go.
There we go. All right, so we've got to face off against Kieran next. Um, and that's what we can do in the next episode. Uh, if I can even end this episode, because my monitor has just died. So, like, I, yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, that was fucked. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one. We will take on Kieran and hopefully see him, like, calm down a bit. Because I said the previous episode, is he being controlled? Obviously, we know that's not the case. It was all just speculation. Um, and then, obviously, with the uh, the prologue kind of being leaked out there, um, I watched a little bit of that so far, and we know that Kieran definitely isn't being controlled, if you've seen any of that. Um, because when someone's controlled, it's entirely different. But... I, st I still... Part of me thinks he still does have a little bit of Echeron in him. Like, he was manipulated slightly because there was that sound, right? That sound that appears when someone who's controlled by Pecheron appears. That appeared with Kieran. So, look, we'll listen out for it again. We'll see if any more happens. Are those actually green, or am I tripping? Is that just like the shadows? Is that one of those optical illusions? I don't know. It looks like white and yellow, but then in the shadow it's like, like a dark gray sort of thing in green. That's so weird. Anyway, I want to catch you guys uh, next time. See you then.